everyone welcome to foster family fun I hope you all are doing well out there we are doing great over here now today's video is going to be really short a quick little video I just wanted to show you guys our um, generator so we have the county electric person coming out to put an inverter on our um, meter outside that we have on our house and since he's already coming I'll show you guys what he's doing and why he's doing it but I figure since he's coming I would show you guys the generator because I know people have asked before because we've talked about our utilities um, we do have electricity out here and we have our well our septic tank our propane gas um, but people have asked me before in our previous lives you know do we have a generator what kind of generator we have now for those of you who are new to our channel welcome we are on 10.4 acres of land in northeast florida and our land was raw when we purchased it and of course we have built our houses out here and we've been working to clear the land and develop the land that um, meets our family needs um, the best way we see possible but we do have a generator we have a whole house generator and um let me take you into the garage to show you the generator now. It's still in a box. <laughs> we haven't had the need to use the generator. It took us a while to actually get the generator that we wanted because it was on back order. But we've had it for, I don't know, uh, maybe about four or five, maybe six months now. Almost a half a year. Now, we haven't even been out here on the land a year yet. Uh, next month in the next month will make a year for us but we do have a whole house generator let me show you guys so like i said the generator is uh um still in the box but this is the generator that we have um and you know rory did his research to find out what would work best for us and our home and this generator came from harbor freight and I don't quite know the price of it, but I will ask Rory how much the generator costs. But you guys can just look it up online, really, and see. What we're doing is I'm going to be pulling the meter mm -hmm. and installing this bad boy in there, okay? Okay. This is, this is basically all this is is what we call a, a uh, transfer switch. Okay. And the way you're going to hook it up, well, if you see these lights right here, well, they, you won't see them now because it ain't hooked up, but... When you're on the utility, that will be green. Okay. Okay. And then when you when you actually plug in the generator, which is going to be right here, mm -hmm. that one right there will turn blue. Okay. All right. Now you mm. never want to hook the generator up with load or unhook it with load. Always hook the cords up, then crank the generator, or turn the generator and unplug the cord. Okay. It comes with a twenty foot cord right here. Okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. I'm going to leave this box here with you. Okay. All right. Now, here's your instructions. If you, I mean, it's very simple. Mm -hmm. uh, get right up under there. See? Oh, yeah. You can see it on the utility. Yep. Yeah. I'm recording it. Yeah. Right. Okay. Okay. Yeah. That means, okay, let's say you got the generator running and you come out here and you see the green light on, mm -hmm. the electricity's back on. Okay. But you'll still stay on your generator until you shut it off. Oh, okay. 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 So if you don't know if the power's back on, you come out here and you say, oh, yeah, the power's back on, the green light's on. Okay. Shut your generator off, mm -hmm. unplug it, and you're done. All right. Ooh, it's hot out here, you guys. I had to find a shady spot because it is super, super hot, and we are just in uh, the last week of April. But as you guys saw earlier in the video, the gentleman hooked up the inverter switch. So pretty much that is hooked onto our meter. So automatically if our lights go out or our electric goes out um, for whatever reason the switch will trigger and then all we have to do is hook up the generator and the generator will run and then when the lights come back on the switch will trigger as well and pretty much we don't have to do anything extra and um, our whole house will be powered by the generator. Now we had to request for them to come out. This is something that they provide in our county. Um, we did request for them to come out and do this. And Rory requested this before we even moved 
into the house so it's been over a year since we put it in and they just called Rory today that said somebody would be coming out today but when we talked to the man who was a very nice gentleman um, he says that they work with I think like 12 or 15 different counties all around our area um, to provide this service and it is Jennerlink you guys G-E-N-E R L I N K and you can look it up um, and do your research on it but pretty much we just wanted something that would be hooked up by a professional that we know we won't be getting any type of power surges or anything weird happening with our home um, and our county offered this service so we went ahead and ordered it and have the, them come out here. So we're all set. You saw the generator that we have. <laughs> we have a whole house generator. Now we do have little smaller generators and power packs and we haven't really needed to use a generator out here. We are in Florida. Um, and so we do have hurricane season, but based on what our neighbors say who have been living out here for, one has been out here for like, uh, they're on 10 acres and they've been out here for like 12 years and another guy he's on 15 acres and he's been out here for like I think about like 10 years um, and they said out of this whole time the lights have never gone out I mean if they did go out it's just like for a couple minutes so I mean we haven't really had from what the neighbors say this area doesn't really have you know power outages like that but we still wanted to have something as a backup for us here so that should answer you guys question we are out here on 10.4 acres but we are not living off grid we do have electricity but we do also have some self-contained utilities as far as our well water our septic tank our propane gas um so we're not hooked up you know to city water or city sewer or anything like that um and we do have gas so our stove is gas our fireplace is gas so i mean if push comes to shove and you know even if we didn't have the generator we still would be able to cook or whatever out here but i'm not really worried or concerned about you know having a lot of power outages out here but we do have a generator for if we need it and it's a whole house generator so if you guys haven't done so already go ahead and hit the subscribe button and the notification bell so you don't miss out on any future foster family fun videos thanks for watching oh and one more thing you guys i forgot i asked rory and he said that the generator was uh one thousand two hundred dollars and the people to come out through the jenner link um that hooked everything up through our county I think it was like there there is a fee for it but we paid the fee like a while ago but they will charge the fee um, to your electric bill um, so it might be like five hundred or eight hundred dollars you guys will have to look it up and I'm sure it varies per county but I just wanted to let you guys know the pricing really quick because you know over here at Foster Family Fun, we give the real information and we do not have a problem with uh, giving prices, even though you can easily just go online and see how much the generator costs and, you know, do your research um, based on your county if they have that type of service for them to uh, hook up the switch. Thanks for watching.